everybody, welcome to today's video. Can you see me over top of the box? Let me just drop it down a little bit. Today we got Fedora's Jeep inside my nicely clean garage, finally. So we can work on some actual projects instead of struggling outside in the alley. And we are going to install the cold air intake from Trailhead Off-Road that we got to try out in Fedora's Jeep. He's been having issues with high intake temperatures, so we're going to install this and uh, going to report back later. See if we notice a difference or not. So let's get started. So I guess since we're going to be cutting into the firewall, we should remove this panel here. Just so that we can see where we're going to be cutting into. So we're going to start by removing the wipers. There's a little Under clip there. on the bottom there. You'll slide it, push it out. For some reason it looks like they are out. Then once you pull it out, you'll lift the wiper arm right, pull it right off. Maybe it's not out. Yeah. I think you gotta pull it and then lift it at the same time. Fucking rocket science! There you go. There's only four Phillips screws across the top to pull out. And we can remove this. One of the smarter things that they did on these vehicles because uh, if you guys ever have to play around with removing these torques, you know the struggle. Pull down your weather stripping. You'll see. There's no. one there. Sneaky. Probably one in the middle, I would assume. No. Fedora, how'd you not see that screw in the middle? Uh, well, it was too obvious. Oh, yeah! Here we go. Lots of room in there. Next part is the removal of the air intake. Fedora's running the Banks Ram Air. If you have the factory set up, obviously it's going to be different how you take it apart. We're going to remove it from the throttle body and from right now we're just going to split it from the elbow and the rest of it can be removed afterwards. From right there, then pull it all out. Buddy. No screwing around. I made those pliers for a reason. All right, let's pull that tube out. We just need to remove that lower boot. Jeez. Nothing is worse than you're trying to remove something with a flat blade and you stab yourself with it. So this is the goodies in the box. This is the air intake tube. We'll slap that on loose. Uh, before we put it on, we should find the clamps. These don't work? No, you don't use those, man. Trailhead off-road goes all out and uses constant torque clamps. Those are the best clamps that you can use. That is fancy. What do you mean business? Businesses? Yeah, we'll slap that on loosely, then we'll fit that pipe up. No See where it's gonna go. I like using screwdrivers better. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. That's gonna tighten up and it's never gonna become loose. I suspect it goes this way. What is this, silicone? Oh, yeah, you should probably put the smaller clamp on. Let me find it inside the box. I think there's a smaller one. Did you? This has to be silicone or something fancy. Gotta lube it up, man. I got some lube if you want. Sweet. I gotta figure out the orientation of how that's gonna go. Gotta go in deeper than that. I'm gonna need to spit on there. I got some lube. Before we can move ahead any further to get this mounted up, we need to remove all the wiring out of the way. So 
we could safely start cutting. Got the wiring out of the way. There's just one ground cable there we're going to have to relocate. Oh yeah, that little 3 8 got some jam, eh? It's a bit rusty. Yeah, right in the middle of that ground bolt. Right there. There's no going back. God damn. This is gonna be forever for door. It's all right. Got other holes in here. the hole. Test fits pretty close. Yep. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. Two inch grinder to the rescue. Oh, so what we just did was that the ground that was attached to the frame, every TJ is going to be different because my TJ is set up differently and we relocated the ground over to here through one of the bolts in the body and it's less stress, There's, it's more free here where it was kind of tight back there. I'm just having the uh, pre-finishing beers plugging along, got a big hole in there, we're almost done. Another beer or two later, fucking shut her down. This one here is pretty good. Steamworks YVR Session IPA. Was the one you got? It's the uh, white IPA. How do you like it? White Angel IPA. They have a black angel. Before we drill the holes for the bracket, we are going to <laughs> test fit it up first. Fucking bent the shit out of the filter. Problem we run into is that. Oh! You're gonna have to make it so that. The hole's big enough for the filter to go all the way through so you don't get that issue right there where it catches. Everything is put into place. The only thing I don't like is I would recommend using a smaller filter it hits the bag. So I just put a zip tie on the bag. And it should be no issues. Yeah, there we go. We're good. Once you hang up the wire, sure leaves a lot of open space in there now. Good. Alright, motherfucking beer time. That's right. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, we got it installed. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Kind of. My uh, Jeep TJ's got a lot of, it's a quite a bit different setup. Like I don't have a bracket that holds those wiring harnesses. And I think there's a differences in the way the wiper arms are. Um, I noticed when we installed it on Fedoras, the wipers are pretty close. So we had to push the filter back as far as we could to have clearance. But besides for that, do you think it'll cure your high intake air temperatures? Do you hope? Yeah, I hope so. Um, it's a little pain in the ass to get it in there, but um, theoretically it should be better. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Within the next week or so? Yeah, whenever it gets above 25 Celsius or so, it usually probably just let it sit without moving. If there's no airflow in the engine bay, usually just starts overheating pretty bad. So. This will hopefully solve the issue. Well, we already know your Tupperware almost caught on a fire, so it's just a matter of like pushing off a cliff and hopefully it burns on the way down. Yeah. I don't think it'll burn. <laughs> Anyways, motherfucking beer time. That's right. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I want to thank you guys for watching. Is it sucking air through that vent? Sure is.
I don't know how it's gonna be if I got the cabin fan on. Oh yeah. 